to end conversation with Hope or Anana left back. Emmanuel Mbola, of course, we know him. He cameoed at the Africa Cup of Nations in 2010 as a 16-year-old. And, well, he's been in Israel for a while. We put the question to him, what has been the secret to that success? Seeing that Emmanuel Mbola, believe it or not, has never played Super League football in Zambia. Yes, Emmanuel Mbola. Uh, Super League in Zambia is a good foundation for uh, Zambian footballers and uh, I commend uh, the people in charge. It wasn't uh, opted uh, to be a part of, uh, of it because uh, uh, God had uh, other plans uh, for me. That's how he wanted my, my journey to be. Uh, of course, uh, it was my dream to play in uh, Zambian Super League, like uh, for any other players, and to play uh, outside Zambia. Uh, that was my dream. That was my dream. You know, uh, in life, if you... Uh, when you're doing something, you have to have uh, dreams and uh, visions. So my dream was to play in uh, Zambian Super League and of course to play outside Zambia. Uh, but being disciplined, determined and uh, hard work, while uh, putting God first, has uh, brought me this far. Uh, not because uh, I was not good enough to play uh, uh, Zambian League or I was uh, uh, better than uh, uh, other players who are still uh, playing in Zambia. No, but uh, because of uh, the plans God had for me was not to play in uh, Zambian Super League, but of course, uh, one day before I retire from football, my wish is to play Zambian League. One day before I retire, of course, I will, I will play Zambian Super League. That's why I always uh, thank to play Zambian League. One day before I retire, of course, I will, I will play Zambian Super League. That's why I always uh, thank my God Almighty because it is not by might nor by power but by His grace that uh, I made it uh, this far and uh, my journey was like that. Uh, I can also give another example. Uh, also Jacob Omlenga never played in uh, Zambian Super League and I think uh, uh, a lot of players can uh, make it that way. With God, all things are possible. Impossible is nothing with uh, our loving Father. Uh, we just have to work hard, be disciplined, stay focused, and everything else uh, uh, will follow. I think there is no secret uh, behind every success. Uh, you just have to work uh, extra hard, be determined, stay focused, and uh, put God uh, first in everything we do in life. Um, I would like to talk about uh, football in Israel. Uh, a lot of people have a different uh, view about uh, Israel and uh, football in Israel. Uh, but to be honest with you, football in Israel is uh, just like any other leagues in uh, Europe, like Russia, France, Switzerland. The league in Israel is very tough and it's, it's very competitive. Very, very competitive. Uh, I can give of, uh, some of uh, the examples of uh, players who have played in Israel and uh, they have made it. Uh, Mayuka is one of them. He started from uh, here in Israel. He was playing in Maccabi Tel Aviv with the youth team. And uh, some teams uh, saw him and then uh, he went on to play in Switzerland, England. Now Mayuka is one of the best players in uh, 
Zambian football. Also the Nigerian goalkeeper Vincent. He played here before going to France. He played with uh, Port Tel Aviv, but now he's uh, one of the best players because they worked hard in Israel. They did good in Israel, and uh, teams uh, saw them. Also Vidal and uh, Bayern Munich. Okay, that was Emmanuel Mbola. Uh, yeah, just explaining how it's good Young to brother. be playing in Israel. And he says he's happy, and that's the most important thing. We also put the question to him. Of course, broke into the national team at a tender age, and some of the new talent has actually come through for Zambian football. They have even won the AFCON under 20. We put the question to him. What does he think about the under 20, the class of 2017? Miracles do happen every day. Miracles happen every day. And impossible is nothing with God. I've seen great talent in our under 20, and some of the players, uh, I can assure you, they can even play in the senior national team. Uh, um, now in the games to come, the Africa Cup and World Cup, uh, qualifying games, they just have to be humble and... Uh, to be disciplined, stay focused, and I think uh, they will do great in the World Cup. They will do great in the coming World Cup. And I was so excited, I was very happy to see them uh, lifting the, the Africa Cup. So I just uh, wish you guys the very best. Keep on working hard. The sky is never the limit. Uh, I would like to wish uh, the under 20 in the coming World Cup in uh, South Korea. They should go. They should go in with the uh, same spirit of uh, Bola Nadesa. I like that word, Bola Nadesa. I always. Uh, uh, say that to Conlight when I'm talking to him, Bola Nalesa, Bola Nalesa. Uh, you know, uh, miracles do happen every day. Miracles happen every day. And impossible is nothing with God. I've seen great talent in our under 20, and some of the players, uh, I can assure you, they can even play in the senior national team uh, um, now and the games to come the africa cup and world cup uh, qualifying games they just have to be humble and uh, to be disciplined all right so that's Emmanuel Mbola finally he's been in israel for what something like three years everybody was happy to hear someone who has started to be well the next big thing in terms of zambian football there were links to fc porto and a lot of big european teams the question is he's been there for three years when is he making his move? We put the question to him. Let's have a look at what he said in response. They did good in Israel and uh, teams uh, saw them. Also Vidal and Bayern Munich played in uh, Israel before. So I think uh, if uh, any player from Zambia have uh, a chance, uh, an opportunity of coming to Israel, they should uh, never hesitate or think otherwise. The league is uh, just like any other leagues in Europe, very competitive, very uh, strong. Um, I've been here, uh, you know, three years now, and uh, people always uh, ask me, when are you moving? You have stayed there for a long time. You know, in life, it's about uh, happiness. When you're doing something and you're happy, I think in Israel, uh, I've played uh, in a lot of countries and uh, with uh, different clubs, but I think the happiness I've found in Israel is different. And I think I'm enjoying football in Israel and the people are very good. My, my team is uh, always doing great in the league. Although this year we didn't uh, start on a good note, but uh, I think I'm enjoying. Life is about uh, happiness and uh, enjoyment. And uh, thank God 
It is not by might nor by power, but by His grace. Um, with God's uh, timing, of course, one day, Sunday, is going to move me from uh, this place because uh, God's timing is always uh, the best. All right, so that was Emmanuel Mbola, Hopel, Ranana, and Zambia. It remains to be seen whether we will see him coming back to the Chipolopolo proper in the Wetson Nyerenda era.